because this offer is available only while supplies last. Grocery Outlet Bargain Market. And action! The Ford Black Friday Subathon is back. With your trade in, you can lease the 2024 Ford F 150 for a low $379 a month. Plus, you can get a $500 Amazon.com gift card. Hurry in this Black Friday. Don't miss it. Traffic patterns shift with people going over the river and through the woods. Wherever you're going, we're here on a holiday. Tomorrow on the KTLA 5 Morning News. Now at 7, the holiday travel rush is on as millions hit the road and the skies ahead of tomorrow's Thanksgiving holiday. Plus, a shocking case of arson caught on camera. The suspect sets fire to a Panorama City home. A woman sleeping inside what we are learning tonight. Then a suspected DUI suspect in court facing murder charges after a weekend crash that killed two young sisters. Now on the News at 7. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Sandra Mitchell. And tonight for Share Cabin, we're going to start tonight with a death investigation in the Hollywood Hills. Firefighters say a body was discovered in the aftermath of a house fire. It started just before 5 o'clock on West Lookout Mountain Avenue. Crews were able to knock the flames down before it spread to neighboring homes. No word yet on the cause of the fire or the identity of that victim. New details tonight, one day after a pursuit of a domestic violence suspect ended in a shootout in West Adams. We are learning that suspect, 37-year-old Andre Jones, has died from wounds sustained in that gun battle with police. The confrontation began after a dash bus driver reported her abuser was following her. Police located Jones, who led them on a wild pursuit ending at an apartment complex. Jones then confronted officers, opening fire with guns in both hands before being shot. Millions of Americans homeward bound. It is the busiest travel night of the year. The Thanksgiving holiday hustle and bustle is starting to peak at LAX. KTLA's Omar Lewis, live from the airport. Omar, how are things moving along? Micah, Sandy, you know, we spoke to several travelers out here hoping to avoid those holiday headaches. They say they got here several hours early to do just that. Things are looking good on the board. Not too many delays to tell you about. And as you can see behind us, things are also going smoothly here. But folks we spoke to say out on the roads, it is a much different story right now. AAA predicts this will be the busiest Thanksgiving travel season on record with nearly 80 million Americans expected to travel for the holiday. 5.7 million Southern Californians will travel by car and over 2.2 million flyers are expected to pass through this airport alone by next Monday. From early birds catching their flights to those cutting it a bit close, travelers we spoke to say they're doing what they can to dodge delays, but some unexpected hiccups, they're carving into those plans faster than a turkey on the dinner table. Our luggage did not arrive here from Denver but it is coming on a later flight, so hopefully we'll get the shuttle back to the airport and pick up our luggage and get to, on our cruise tomorrow. But there was big traffic going on on Lincoln. Oh, Be yeah. prepared, yes. You, you ready for it? Oh, definitely, definitely. And if you're driving, tonight is expected to be the busiest out there on the roads, especially if you're taking the 5 north through Bakersfield. So tonight, CHP is activating its annual Thanksgiving maximum enforcement period to crack down on DUIs. They tell us that maximum enforcement last year resulted in more than 1,000 arrests. So the message is be safe, plan ahead out there if you're traveling tonight. That's the latest for now. Live from LAX, I'm Omar Lewis. Sandy, Micah, we'll send it back to you. All right, Omar, thank you. A male traveler has died outside Hollywood Burbank Airport. A call for assistance came in just after 8 a.m. when a man collapsed in the valet lane while walking toward the terminal. Paramedics began life-saving measures, but the man was pronounced dead at the scene. Officials say he died of natural causes. There were no signs of foul play. And a really bizarre incident on a recent United Airlines flight from Austin to L.A. A passenger had to be restrained after attacking his own seat. This is cell phone video. It shows the passenger standing and then repeatedly kicking the backrest, destroying a tray table in the process. The man eventually was tied down. He was taken into custody upon arrival at LAX. He has now been banned from future United flights. 
Omar touched on this a moment ago on the roads as of 601 tonight. CHP officers have officially begun their annual Thanksgiving maximum enforcement period, deploying extra officers across the Southland to promote traffic safety, especially on the 405, 101, 10 and 5 freeways. The period runs through 11.59 p.m. Sunday. Last year's MEP resulted in over 1,000 arrests statewide for drivers under the influence. Be careful. Yeah, the good news, I think, is that after a little bit of drizzle earlier yeah. this week, looks dry out there, Vera. It does indeed. Now what we're contending with, Sandy, is this, this behind me. This is the marine layer. We do have a dense fog advisory for parts of the viewing area, in fact, for Orange County. So it'll begin tonight. It will be done by tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. We are looking at reduced visibility, so it is going to be dangerous if we're going to be heading out of the door pretty early. Here's what it looks like at LAX. So we are definitely seeing those low clouds impact at least part of the region. Let's take a look at those rain totals from yesterday. If you were near Glen Helen region, Park almost half an inch. Lytle Creek's about a quarter, a little less than a quarter. And then uh, along the LA County Mountains, about a third of an inch of rain. And in Ventura, almost an inch. Here's what you can expect as we head into the Thanksgiving holiday. Temperatures are going to be pretty near average. We are going to see partly cloudy skies. The winds are going to be out of the northeast. So this is going to be a mild to moderate Santa Ana wind event. The relative humidity values are going to be on the low side. As we look at the 24-hour temperature change, Van Nuys and Burbank are one degree warmer. Ontario, Riverside lost two, and in Santa Ana, we also lost some temperatures, five to be exact. Right now, it's 61 degrees in Van Nuys, 59 in Los Alamitos, 57 in Camarillo, and 59 for Temecula and Marietta. Here's your dog walking forecast for tomorrow after you eat, whether you're going at 3 o'clock, at 7 p.m. or 9 p.m. Temperatures, as you can see, are going to be perfect for a walk. And as we take a look at next week, we are going to be dealing with a ridge of high pressure that will continue to bring fair and mild weather. The rest of the forecast coming up shortly. Back to you guys for now. All right, Vera, thanks. Ahead of the Thanksgiving meal, many weathered long lines at local Honey Baked Ham location, Sky 5 over Pasadena, Glendale, and Northridge, where some waited hours for that precious Honey Baked Ham. How long, how long did you have to wait in line for that? Uh, maybe like an hour or so. And did you order it ahead of time, or were you just taking a chance they'd have one? Just a chance. <laughs> yeah. Now, now, now what?